All right, time to see what's clicking in Cleveland, and for that we bring in our digital anchor, Stephanie Haney. Howdy. Hello, Betsy. Hello, Jay. You know, with Hi, the Stephanie. new year comes new laws, yeah. and on Monday, Governor Mike DeWine, he signed a bill into law that makes swatting or falsely reporting an emergency situation to police a felony here in Ohio. So now anyone who reports false or misleading information to a law enforcement agency, emergency service provider, or public safety official can be found guilty of a fourth degree felony. That's punishable by a minimum of six months in jail and up to 18 months in prison. And that possible prison time goes up if someone gets injured as a result of swatting. So that's new here in Ohio. All right, let's talk cold weather dog protection. What you need to do and what you don't. Style Mutt owner Pam Allerine says coats and sweaters are good for short haired dogs and older dogs, but don't waste your money if you have a breed like a Husky that's made for cold weather. Paws do need protected from frostbite and salt, but Pam says skip the boots. Unless you start a puppy on them, dogs don't get used to them and they will not work, and I can say that is true in my experience. Now what does help is putting emollient on paw pads and that stops ice balls from forming. And also on their noses, people forget this, the cold dries them out. And wipe paws off when you get inside because even paw safe salt can make your puppy sick if it licks it off. Good to know. All right, now it's time for our question of the day. Has Southwest Airlines done enough to make things right after all of those canceled flights? Zaf says the U.S. needs to have a system like the European Union where it's cash fines paid to the consumer rather than vouchers for things like this. Now, Chris says the reimbursements are actually fine, but Southwest needs to upgrade its system so this doesn't happen again. That's the important thing. Charlene Amico says they need to hire more people in addition to upgrading the systems. Carrie Grubb is on board with Zaf and says, give everybody a dollar amount and maybe $200 check per person. She says she's not sure what the appropriate amount is, but something. She agrees, it's gotta be cash and not just reimbursements and vouchers and things like that. I will also mention one other comment that was posted. I think this kind of speaks to what a lot of people are feeling. They can't really make it right. There's only so much you can do to make up for lost time with family and friends and yeah, travel. Absolutely. And we kind of just have to move on now, but they're trying to do what they can. Yeah, I, I like the idea of additional reimbursement because to be perfectly honest, just giving you your money back that doesn't do it. And I'm not nuts about the frequent flyer miles because that's only encouraging you to continue to use their product. And right now, a lot of these people do not want anything to do with Southwest Airlines. Yeah, mm -hmm. so I think that's a cash saving yeah, scenario. I'm sure it is. Like yeah. they're like, all right, we're just gonna put the Band-Aid on with the, the frequent flyer miles because mm -hmm. that money can then be reappropriated to fix all right. the systems which are jacked. But uh, How about whatever the cost of your ticket was, you get that much in free dollars to use for a flight as well as full reimbursement of your flight. That's an interesting idea. So that I way it's that two dollars nice. for one yeah. and you get cash back which people don't want incentives to fly that again. Ladies and gentlemen, no. Jay Crawford in the house. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I, I try to solve problems. This is, kids. This is why We're we hired it. you in the first place. That's what I'm I glad do. that you're finally picking up on that. Thanks so much Steph. <laughs> Thanks Steph.